Anybody out there? Hello, Heather. Just getting myself a cup of tea. I should remember to drink it as well. Ah, oh, Jules, hello. Now, Jules, remind me to drink my tea before the end, please. Hello, Carol. Hello, Judith. Hello, Rose. Rose, what you need to know is that my friends call me Marianne. Only people who don't know me call me Mary. So, Marianne, please. Right, look what Fifey found yesterday. It must have, some poor bird must have um, spent hours and hours making it only to have it blown out of wherever it was onto the ground. Look at that, just beautiful. Does anybody know what sort of nest that is? I don't. Hello, Paul. Can you see? Two towels. Hello, John Charlton, how are you? John, look at this, look what I got sent. Look, I've got my own, my own blue and gold macaw. <laughs> Hello, Sally. Hello, Mel. Much better, Rose. Right. Now then, somebody asked me something yesterday and it was a really, really good question. And I did cover it uh, on, I think, our very first session. Um, but we'll go back to it, which is, hello, Louise. Hello, Timothy. Godfrey, how are you? Hello, Vicky. Hi, Sally. Yeah, how do you paint white things? Um, good question, because obviously the colours I use one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know whether I can get my green out. Four, five, six, oops, and six, which is Payne's Grey, um, sap green, no white. Because if you need, hello Ruth, how are you? How was the first aid? Good to know that my grandchildren I've got a mother who knows what to do if they suddenly um, have an accident. And Ruth, I don't know whether I ever told you, when you were a baby, probably, I don't know, under the age of one, and I was uh, at Elston Gate on my own once, you had a sort of, you just like had a seizure, you were in a complete paddy in a rage about something, and then you just sort of went, <gasps> and I didn't know what to do. And it was quite cool outside and I grabbed you and I just ran outside and the cold air hit you and you <gasps> and you breathed again. And that was a horrible moment. Anyway, going back to today. Hello, Marianne. They're all pet lambs, yeah. Hello, Carol. Hello, Marianne. Ray, <laughs> Wendy and Helen. Right, white. If you are painting a white subject, you have to just leave it behind because that is the white of the paper. So... For instance, I'm trying to find a scrap of paper somewhere. They were the daffodil, daffodils that we started. For instance, if we were painting a, I think I'll just tip you up. Hello, Kate. Hello, Curlew. God, that's such a contentious issue that we're dealing with at the moment. Hello, John. Um, Yes, we can discuss that later. Okay. So, for instance, if we were doing painting, um, oh, nearly forgot my glasses. There we are. So, for instance, if we were painting a golf ball, on the green, I'm hoping Abdul is watching, Abdul Nassar. That is the golf ball. Let's say we're painting a daisy.
So that's the middle of the daisy or chrysanthemum, whatever. And And I do apologise to those of you who are just sort of saying, yawn, yawn, we know this. Uh, they're the petals and we're just leaving them behind. So that's a white subject, a lovely daisy. And I've actually planned, as I always do for today, um, a couple of other white subjects. Hello Neil, hello Rachel, hello Dawn, Donna, Emma Scott. Hi, thank you for your help with the straw this morning because um, as we all know, farms are dangerous places and that one is the most dangerous. And I can't understand why Hexham doesn't have a whole, like a unit with just the name Scott or Loleem um, priority above the door. Hello, Dickie Carruthers, you'll know what I mean. Uh, Lou Rennick, Marianne Ray, amazing, but how do you get the colors you use? Elijah Shea, Marianne Ray, just be patient. Right, for instance, Let's say we were doing, let's say we're doing a white chicken. Right, what we might do is get a very pale wash. Do you remember we call that a wash? I'll just move that out of the way. Uh, the paper I am wasting on you, well certainly you. Um, I'm only doing teeny weeny here because I'm, we're going to move on to one I prepared earlier. So let's say we know what the, the shape of this chicken is. And this is a light Sussex chicken, so most of the body is white. Head, foot, sorry. Right. I'm just going to use whatever colour colour is handy here rather than okay. So the, the white subject sort of is emerging, I hope. So, like I say, head, tail. Now then, so here is one that is bone dry. Where's Helen Henderson? Bone dry. Marianne Ray, is this helping? Hello, Jenny. Hello, Philip. Sheila Eggleston. Hi, hi, hi. Marianne Ray, is this beginning to make sense? So we have a, a white subject here, and then we will continue to make this more like your actual, like Sussex. And then the sort of fun bit, if I can find a nice mm. oh, this is quite a nice brush. This is a funny brush, it's um angled. I picked that up in an art shop and quite liked it. So I'm going to use my Payne's Grey, which is the closest thing to black, 
just straight out of the straight out of the um, the pan. Oh, oh, Dicky! I hope you're not looking down my front, Dicky Carruthers. I know what you like. You're a monkey. I don't care what your mother says. It's not my fault. So I'm picking out the lovely black detail on the light Sussex. Cockerel's feathers. Another gorgeous day out there. E honestly, I'll make one day. We were out on the hill with my neighbour, and she's not watching this, so we don't need to worry. Emma, don't tell her. And um, I, we hear these birds tweeting, going, doing their tweet, tweet, tweet. And I'm like, oh, listen to that. Can you hear? And she went, mm, what? And I said, listen, I think they're skylarks. Listen. And she said, ooh, annoying little fuckers. I think she actually said that. Don't tell her I said that. So we had a lovely uh, flock of light Sussex chickens last year. And then the hounds came through and they had what was left of them. Literally just in a fit of a freeze feeding frenzy, they just killed our chickens. See how this brush kind of makes diamond shapes. This is just discovered through I don't know, playing with with it. Quite nice that, isn't it? And then I'm going to get a bigger brush and do some nice tail feathers. John Charlton, I was telling them about how we met and about Rastus the other day. I hope you're still there. That was quite funny. And I was quite sure you were going to ask me to paint a um, a collie, not a blue and gold macaw. Paul Knox, five you reminded me where those hand towels came from. I said, why does Paul Knox keep saying, I like your towels? And he said, well, do you not remember? He bought them for us for Christmas a few years ago. Well, I had completely forgotten. Sorry. Okay. So that is sort of how you do a, a white subject. Um, you could you could put a background in but it's not necessary obviously i've got to do the beak but the chances are i would make it all bleed i'm going to see if you said anything my favorite chickens is them what's in my pillows mm -hmm. mary Ann ray you're naughty isn't it? hello i so enjoy your daily demo you bring a ray of creative sunshine to my day thank you that's very nice veronica harding don't forget the job so, Mary Ann Ray, yes, so you use a very watery paint mix, or as we professionals call it, a wash. Whoops. Yes, um, you just use a very, very pale wash. Normally, I advocate really 
being quite brave and bold and using lots and lots of paint. But when you're when you're um, just creating like the basic subject, yes, a very, very pale wash. Careful with the camera angle. You could park one of your bikes down there. Just say, I know it's magnificent, isn't it, Jules? Honestly, you're so naughty. I should, I should, maybe I should put Br'er Rabbit. Oh, it's not Br'er Rabbit. Um, Peter Rabbit. Maybe I should make a thing. Betty Scott is watching and saying nothing. Hello, Betty. It's lovely to see you <laughs> the depths. Alistair Hardy's watching. <laughs> Hello, and Ben. Hello, E. I remember poor Fifey. <laughs> Putting me off my lunch. Okay. Celia, Angie, Geraldine, Marianne Rogers, take action quick. <laughs> I don't very much believe it, I've heard. It's the only reason you're watching. Jenny, you're very funny. Right, so that's like one white thing. Now then, another one. Okay. Oh, where's that little teeny scrap of paper? Uh, so we'll just get the teeny scrap of paper and I'll just... Very hello, Laura Barty, Lindsay, how lovely to see you. And Sarah Morley, love the painting of Erastus. I have a card. Louise Innes, hello, hello. Marjorie Louise Innes is a, a multi-talented lady. She's actually an opera singer and she's superb. And we've been to see her in opera, but she's also very, very naughty. And she goes on stage doing a sort of a vaudeville, what is it, what do you call it, vaudeville? Burlesque. Basically, her and this other slutty woman um, tell, they do very, very funny, very rude things. And I think most of you would love it. Right, so we've got a little bit of space down here. So uh, a sheet. Let's just imagine we have like, so again, you'd get a very pale wash, Marianne Ray. So if you imagine this sheet, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do know what I'm doing here. Don't think that I don't. Um, obviously, this is just tiny, tiny weeny, but um, and then we'll, I'll go on to the. the one that I prepared earlier. So if you imagine, if you imagine that's, that's like your sheep. Very basic little titchy sheep, quite sweet. So I've already done that a little bit bigger. And then we can go on to the next stage. That. And maybe use this, this brush to do it. I'm going to exaggerate. That little piece of paper. Dickie, I can't understand how you're just like sitting watching Facebook with with all the things that you should be doing. Like filling the buckets, um, going out and checking your checking your sheep and so I'm just sort of hinting at a fleece. It's not that great, but as I said before, when you're an artist, you can just do what you like and nobody's going to go, do you know, the fleece isn't quite like that. I don't really care. And again, I'm just twisting the brush and creating a sort of, Fleecy effect. God, I spoke to my mother today. I've been trying to ring her for ages. She doesn't answer the phone. Well, fortunate. There are five of us in our family. And um, one of my brothers, 
foolishly found himself up north staying with my mum as the lockdown started. So basically, in his words, he keeps her fed, watered and well walked. I uh, did say she isn't a dog, you know, um, but she's not taking this whole coronavirus thing very seriously. Um, Paul, if that's you, I I'll be cross. I'm just going to ignore it. God, I hope it's not somebody wanting to buy a huge painting. You see how we're sort of, we're beginning to get a, um, is that a reindeer? Marianne Ray, I can banish people from this. Jeannie Adams, hello, where is the fourth leg? It's in your imagination. Sarah Smith Boise, hello, it's not me. God, maybe it was somebody trying to buy a huge valuable painting. Yeah, so, e my mother. So I said, what are you going to do today? She said, I think I'll go shopping and then I'll go to Morpeth for a walk. It's like, Mum, I presume you just don't think this is serious. That's where the shadows lie. So it's quite, quite easy, simple. Uh, I'm just going to put a nose on because it can't smell otherwise. Right, that's the leaning forward, isn't it? It makes my face go red. So that's, I'll just do something to that horn. I'll, uh, don't say anything, Jules. Just kind of putting a bit of shadow in, and I would um, probably paint in the sort of the the ridges that you get on sheep's horns as well. So that's that's another white thing. There's another there was another thing I got with. Don't go away.
two ducks. Right, so I literally just painted them with a very, you've lost me. <gasps> Tracy, have you found me? <laughs> Kate, you naughty thing. How are they? Uh, hello, Jane. <laughs> you're so, you're so naughty. Julie and Kate, just so, they're so predictable. Camera position, mostly getting top of your, okay. Right, so see those two little ducks that I painted very, very loosely. Right, another way of, there we are, little right there. Another way of making these white subjects just come off the page. And again, we sort of done something like this before is to get to, to make a background wash. So I'm just mixing up some, you know, green and blue. Can you see, can you see all right now? for another swim last night on the funny bike which is apparently it's a trike look at all this paper um, and this time we didn't have a puncture hurrah but one of my pedals fell off they, they, um, they shouldn't fall off um, I haven't quite worked out why but I got it back on alright the screw that, that that attaches the pedal to the pedal cranky thing. My tea, Jules, you never reminded me. Actually, I think that milk's off. I don't know about you, but most of the people I know who I've talked to have been having a lot of quite, quite vivid dreams recently, and I've been having vivid dreams, and I've been having nightmares, and Fivey said you were like whimpering in your sleep, and I had this awful dream that a relative of mine who is who died quite a few years ago was just like tormenting me and um, bullying me. And I had to scream at her and tell her to get out of the house. In a dream, obviously. And other people have said, I've been having terrible dreams too. I don't know. <gasps> Look at the time. I've got so much to do at the moment. And um, while I'm entertaining you, with my paintings, the house is like standards are just slipped and slipped. It's absolutely, it's like a midden. I, I mean, not you know, you can get into the kitchen and cook, but it's really grubby. Everything is quite, is, has got quite dirty. And I think tomorrow, I'm gonna have a little, a little go at tidying up, just little, you know, nothing. Nothing too dramatic. So I'm not going to be here tomorrow. You'll have to entertain yourself somehow. Obviously. We need eyes. Just do a really, really, really simple little eye.
So that's how you do white things. There's, there's that, like paint the background after you've done a very, very light wash. Um, something like that, just a light pale wash and then build it up. And then this one you could put, you could put a background behind it. Um, something I like to do um, is, oh yeah, do you remember the, the cockerel that we did the other day? I started, I started putting a background behind it as well and just, where's my brush gone? Just sort of painting leaves and things in the background just to sort of create a, a foliage effect. So there we have it. Housework is not good for one's creative juices. I know you're right, if I change my mind I'll let you know, but at the moment I'm thinking that tomorrow I need to do some catching up and get stuff, get some stuff done and then be back on Friday. Surely the kitchen can wait till the weekend. Dawn Walton, you've not been keeping up because I think I did this at the weekend as well. <sighs> Mary Craney, you've, you're a bit late to the party, I'm off. Anyway, I will share this to my page as I oh, uh, as I usually do and um, have a lovely day and see you on Friday. Bye.